might be new for you, but it's important to show you because you might find this very interesting in when when you trade price action. Uh, I have found these patterns uh, um, reliable so far, and uh, it, they have served as a confluence point for various entries. So I will present those to you, and uh, this webinar will be just for new candlestick patterns, because next price action trading school we will be doing breakout trading so how to trade breakouts we are going step by step so all of you who are new here and I advise you to watch uh, previous lessons uh, on price action trading school because everything is connected and once we finish with our school I think it might happen around August uh, from uh, September and so on, we will be doing, uh, of course, trading, okay, based on uh, price section. This is actually PNT, the part of uh, PNT, Practical Naked Trading, and we go step by step. So this is a full program. Pr PNT, it's my proprietary, but it's renamed to Price Action Trading School. So. Before we begin with presentation, I received some emails from you uh, thanking me for last uh, recap. Some people made great money, especially on Euro dollar. And even today I received an email from a trader. I think his name was Jens. And he told me that actually he's still in Euro dollar trade. I advise him to actually close the trade. But he made another long and he said he made like 100 pips on euro dollar long, as I said, 1.3035. So he made a long trade, another one. I hope that he managed, managed his profits because at this point it's 100 pips up. Netan is saying made nice pips on dollar cad. Great, Netan. Uh, yeah, I also received your email. And... Uh, I might consider your suggestion so for for next uh, session recap so guys uh, before I begin because we won't be having a lot to talk about today this is simply about new candlestick patterns I want to show you those and you might find it useful uh, you should learn these patterns because not sure that uh, you know of it but if you don't know you should learn about it also it's important to say that uh, don't be uh, afraid with today's price action. I already stated that euro dollar is in ranging mode. And uh, if you follow price action on four hour and one hour time frame, you can see really that uh, dips have been bought and uh, rallies have been sold, but not from these levels. So euro dollar still needs to go more up to be sold. And now this is a trick. Uh, it's all, uh, I, let me give you a hint. Always before FOMC, not always, but 90% of the time, you will see that the price is ranging. So first we will see either buyers or sellers, and then price turns. Now it, uh, equities are very bullish. Oil was flying like one hour ago. So if you traded dollar cad you should have gone short today because oil was flying that made equities bullish and because of that you can see uh, ODN I also uh, gave the analysis of ODN yesterday saying that it might retrace and you see now it's it's in retracement mode it's going up so when you see the technicals are aligned with fundamentals that is always the best to trade so we can continue with our main subject today and as always before we begin our standard risk disclaimer explaining that online educational materials are available by Admiral Markets Estonia for a global audience so you should take into consideration that information is not suitable for everyone if you want to get a information charting conditions and any other detail you should visit www.admiralmarkets.com search your country residence and contact an appropriate entity 
Risk is cautious statement stating all possible risks associated with forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. And final part uh, of risk disclaimer, explain that you could actually uh, use benefits of Admiral Market Supreme Edition. It's a free add-on for all uh, traders who trade with Admiral. It's a great add-on. I frequently use it. And don't forget that if your PC is not in a perfect state, you can always uh, go to Web Trader and uh, at this address and try to trade from there. Okay? So, Admiral Market's officially best MT4 broker in UK 2015. And this part, I'm not sure that I told you that uh, other markets you can LTD takes no responsibility. This is solely my opinion, and this webinar is for information education purposes only. So we can continue with today's presentation. Well, candlestick weeks. I just need to remind you how candlestick weeks are important, and how pin bar is actually very important. My favorite pin bar pattern, you know, T89, but we won't be talking about T89. We will be talking about three soldiers, three tests, advanced block price ladder. Okay, so those are patterns that frequently show up during, uh, well, either a reversal or trend, some are reversal, some are trend patterns, and especially they can be seen, they're strong if they're seen uh, on higher time frames. Of course, uh, these patterns can also show on lower time frames. So if you scal if you scal if you're scalping price action, then you need to know that these patterns can be reliable indeed. So candlestick weeks, three soldiers retest, advanced block, price ladder. Okay. Now, what are candlesticks? Uh, we know what candlesticks are. We won't be mentioning that. You should have known uh, by far what candlesticks are. So long white candlesticks show strong buying pressure. Long black candlesticks show strong selling pressure. We know that already, right? New traders should always concentrate on learning basic candlestick formations on higher time frames. Okay, so new traders, please visit my uh, 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 candlestick lesson. It's uh, the lesson number one. And uh, first learn that, and then you can follow through all these webinars, because these are a bit advanced candlesticks. Uh, we need to focus on pin bars or pins, because these are definitely my favorite candles. And one of the candlestick I say patterns, this is indeed a candlestick pattern, but it's only one candlestick pattern. So these tails are single most important thing on those candles. So when you see a big tail, wick or shadow, you know that it indicates now moment sellers. Okay, so this tail here indicates now moment sellers. Okay, so that is most important part. If we have the nose, it's called if you have the wick to the downside, it's called the nose. And this nose should be lower than main wick. Ideally, we shouldn't see any nose, but if we see a nose, it doesn't matter. The longer wick, the better. And it protrudes from the surrounding price bars. Same for bullish candlestick. We have nose, but this time to the upside. Then there is body and there is a tail. Okay, so guys, that is important for these candlesticks. Now, what also is important is that when you see now moment price action and compare it to historical price action, you will see that history repeats itself. So that is why it's very important for us to see now moment compared to the history. So we are comparing now moment, we are flipping our charts to the left, and then we compare it to the history. If you see that in either uh, near-term or short-term history, there has been a similar pattern rejection, you can assume that that is a confluence point that would be also valid, that would be also valid for now moment. So now moment buyers and sellers could reject the price, 
based on history. Okay? So, bullish pin bar tail is pinning down, rejecting the support. Bearish pin bar is pinning down, okay, like this, okay, pinning up and rejecting the resistance. So, you know that. We already covered that. So, I won't be sitting on this today. But it's important to know that these patterns, guys, are, in my opinion, the strongest. Especially if you see T89. And T89 is based on these two patterns. So pay attention. Pin bar is a simple candlestick pattern. But if it's seen on higher time frames, it's very strong. Of course, it's strong on, on one minute also. But on one minute, when you see it, you can maybe go for three or five pips. But if you see it on daily, especially if it's touching important support or resistance or a weekly, monthly chart, well, that is also a cue for you that the trend will change, guys. And when you see T89 on one hour or 30 minutes, uh, you can trade it. If you see it on four hour time frame, you can assume that the trend will continue. So T89 here on four hour will indicate that bullish trend will persist. Or if you see a bearish T89 on 4-hour, you know that, and you might assume that, bearish trend will persist. Now, let's see this pattern. This is important. Three soldiers retest. Three SR pattern. Well, as I already said, this is uh, one of the patterns that I, uh, that you might not frequently find on the charts, but if you do, you might assume that uh, the pattern is indeed strong. There, uh, that is a three candlestick pattern. And I know that you probably haven't seen it so far, but you might pay attention to it uh, because uh, it appears from time to time. And if it appears, you know what you should do. Of course, because this Today's lesson is not about breakout trading. I will be mentioning these patterns next time also when we will talk about breakout trading. But at this point, it's important that you learn the structure of these patterns. So on 3SR pattern, first candle closes up, the second candle shows equal low or higher low, and higher high and closes bullish. So the first candle is bullish. Second candle shows equal low or higher low and higher high like this and closes bullish. Well, it might, uh, as you can see here, it might also close bearish. And I will show you later on on the chart itself. What is important here is the wicks. So pay attention to wicks. Okay, I might uh, just... Uh, I will, because this maybe not, is not clear for you, I will reformulate it. Just give me a second. Okay, so might close bullish or bearish, so it doesn't matter. I will, because you can snapshot this for your reference. Uh, watch the weeks. So just give me a couple of seconds. Wicks are most important part of this pattern here. Also watch the wicks. Watch the wicks and I will show you right now. Okay. Okay, we go like this. So first candle closes up, second candle shows equal low or higher low and higher high, and it might close bullish or bearish. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Watch the week is where it's tricky. You need to watch these weeks. So for this pattern, you might see an early bird. And when I see early bird, when you see these two, you just wait for the third. If the third candle breaks the low of candle one, so this is candle one. 
If it breaks the low and closes up like this, bullish, okay, you might assume that this pattern, that the next breakout will be to the upside. We will be practicing this on next class, so be sure to understand this. Okay? The close of this third candle, okay, is it, it, it should be at least bullish, slightly above the, the close of this candle, okay? Should be like this, slightly, at least one or two pips. Bearish 3 SR, first candle is bearish, but second candle shows equal high or lower high, like this. In this case, this is a lower high and lower low, so again, weeks are important, and close is either bearish or bullish. Watch the weeks, so this is the second candle. Once this forms, you watch for the third candle. If the third candle breaks the high here of candle one, closes down and below the close of candle two, at least one or two pips, we assume that the next breakout will be bearish to the short side. So I know this, is, this sounds a bit tricky and this pattern is tricky because you really need to observe it very carefully, but it's good in, in that sense that you might trade a breakout with it. Because not each pattern and not each can, not chart and candlestick pattern is for trading breakouts. I know that a lot of people think that if they see a triangle, if they saw a triangle, they would trade it. Well, not every triangle is to be traded and not every chart pattern is to be traded. Shooting star, for example, it's not tradable if it doesn't, if it doesn't reject from important pivot point or if you don't see a rejection in the history. Uh, MJ asks, will it work on 15 minutes time frame? Yes. But on 15 minutes time frame, your targets are lowered, of course. It's always best that you see a breakout on a higher time frame and zoom into a lower time frame and trade it. I will show you the, the technique for trading breakouts on next price section trading school. So at this time, MJ, try to learn these patterns. Okay? Because this is the pattern that is used for breakout trading. So this is important for breakout, more than it's for positional trading. Because obviously, with this pattern, you're going to trade breakouts. Okay? So 3SR, pay attention to it. Next pattern is advanced block. Okay? It's continuation pattern. So this pattern can keep you longer in the trade or at least it can give you a cue where the trend should go. Is it a trend reversal or trend continuation? So advanced block is purely continuation pattern. What is it important is that you need to look for three white candles in an upward price trend. On each candle, price opens within the body of the previous candle, and the height of the shadows grow taller on the last two candles. See, so the height of the shadows. See, this shadow is here, this shadow is here, this shadow is here. This is not three white soldiers, because three white soldiers usually don't show any wicks. But if you see wicks, don't think that this is bearish. Very often, traders might assume that if this closed like this, CDC is bearish. No, look at this. Candlestick pattern usually followed by a correction and continuation. So it's good to know that this pattern can be uh, shown, can be used for continuation signals. And if you want to trade, of course, uh, in candlestick direction, you drop down to a lower time frame. For example, you spot this on four hour time frame. You might drop to 15 minute time frame and go long on a signal that is that is signaled on 15 minute time frame because this pattern is a cue 
you don't trade breakouts with this pattern guys this is a cue that bullish trend will continue should continue okay so this is a cue this is a confluence point and you can use it in your trading I gave you the idea drop down to 15 minute time frame try to look for 15 minute entries so advanced block good one and price ladder this is often neglected pattern but a lot of traders think it's not important I personally think it's important I'm sure that at least 90% of you have seen this pattern at least once in your life in your lifetime because price ladder pattern is four or five candlestick pattern it's a bearish it's preceded by a bearish trend and it's a reversal pattern guys so here we have breakout pattern continuation pattern and reversal pattern so I have collected three new patterns for you to show you and it's important that you uh, learn this that you that it gets in your head because uh, this is where most traders fail. look at this one two three four this is bearish trend right then price fell down and but it's bearish you see it's still bearish and here even even here it's bearish trend so you probably think okay this is strong bullish candle this is candle prior candle low so if this breaks here it should go down but look guys watch this this is leather okay leather look how the price climbs up this is reversal so when you see this if it's seen on strong support it is a reversal guys one two so sorry one two three four okay it goes like this even like this and a lot of traders think this was a bearish candlestick no guys this is important on a ladder pattern this candlestick is is either same or very similar as this one so this is price a ladder this candle the far most important candle here on this pattern okay so don't be fooled i know that uh, occasionally traders think that if this is so bearish this is a shooting star guys shooting star is one candlestick pattern and this is a part so shooting star is actually a part of, of price ladder it is a price ladder in this configuration so don't assume that shooting star or pin bar is always bearish or bullish you need to watch the con the context in this context if you see this I would advise you not to take short positions of course it also goes with the common sense if you see that the, there is a very close support nearby would you really go for a short trade I assume you wouldn't so because of that this is at least a cue for you not to take short trades see leather now let's see how it looks on live charts okay guys so on live charts the first thing is the pattern that I was showing you today so 3 SR sorry let me just 
So 3SR, like this. So this is, you see this pattern? So this is bullish 3SR, okay, bullish pattern. When you see this pattern, you know that there might be a bullish breakout. See? So this is one hour time frame. You see one, two, three. Watch this guys. This is the first, this is the this is the first. Okay, this is the second, this is the third. So after the third candle closes, watch for possible breakout to the long side. I will teach you multiple time frame trading when we get to the class about multiple to the lesson about multiple time frames. But know that if you trade one hour, you drop into five minutes. If you trade four hours, you drop into 15 minutes. It's how price action is traded, how I teach. Of course, there are some systems that uses different things, but price action is, that is price action. Four hour, 15, one hour, five minutes. Okay? So, okay, let's see. So if you go to five minute time frame, Let's see if we see the, you see, five minutes, breakout, breakout of this pattern to the upside, look, not bad, right? Okay, assuming that is a breakout rate, fast 13 FIPS. Of course, this can be even more, but this is breakout trading. And especially if, and this was too high, look guys, this was too high. So this is resistance here, here. So you didn't have much room to trade to the upside. But nevertheless, you see the logic. One hour pattern, drop to five minutes and trade it. Of course, you, you would probably think twice about breakout trading if the price is very close to resistance. But if you see this happening on in the middle of the chart where, where you still have the room to next resistance, then it's good to trade it. Okay, so this is bullish 3SR, 3SR. Now this is bearish, guys, 3SR here. Okay, but because we are, again, the same thing. We are at important, important support. So if we trade 15 minutes, we should drop to one minute. I don't do that. But just to, to, to show you, how it's done so you know you see the low sorry this is the low here the third candle you drop into one minute and try to trade it okay we do, we cannot see now the price okay let's see again okay so when you see this drop down at this time drop down to one minute and watch the price to the downside. So here you could make, well, on one minute, of course, five pips. That is what I was telling you. It's always better to watch higher time frames. But the logic is simple. You spot a pattern and you trade it. If there is a room to next support or resistance. So we will do that on our next session. But at this time, it's important for you to know, to understand how these patterns look like. So once more, snapshot the screen if you want. So this is bullish 3SR, this is bearish 3SR. Okay? Next pattern was advanced block. You see here, this is advanced block, this here. From this part to this part here. Look, one, two, three. Watch this continuation. So there was some uptrend prior to price price action, right? Uh, to uh, prior to this price action here. So we had an uptrend. You see, trend line respected. Possible three bullish soldiers, and then three bullish. Soldiers turned into advanced block. Look at this. 
So let's say that you have entered a trade here based on a retest. So after this, if you see a breakout of three advanced block, you hold the trade. See, you can hold your trade because three advanced block is actually telling you that bullish trend will continue. Look at this. This was a fake out, obviously, but look the weeks to the upside. Are there, yes, I will show the previous slide. So look at this. One, two, three. This is just a fake out. Stop grabber here. But what is important is one, two, three. Look. Advanced block with a fake out. Look. Even this fake out, guys, is telling you that the price will continue to the upside. You see, when, when traders ask me, can I have the system for trading? Guys, there is no manual system that you should follow the rules like a robot. It's stupid. You don't do that. You need to use your common sense and your logic in trading. If, if we were to use a system and become millionaires, everyone would know that. So guys, think logically. Always try, even, yes, Dennis, find your edge. You are the system. Yes, system just gives you the cue where the price might go, but you need to use other things, logic, higher time frames, price patterns, the zo zones, historical levels, and then you enter the market. So there is no system that is 100% mechanical how I teach you. I always tell you, look on other things. 70% mechanical, it's okay. But th those 30% is your edge. It's your edge over the system. Because you know how the price behaves. And when you see this, you know that this is bullish. Three advanced block. Look how it closed. Fake out. Strong buyers from this level, guys. Very strong buyers. And what happened? Bullish price action. See? Bang! To the upside. So that is, tr that is called advanced block. And finally, price ladder. So price ladder here. Guys, look at this. Price dropping down, bang, 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 bang. Wow, what a drop, right? Huge drop. 120 pips in three hours. That's bearish trend, right? Well, look at this. Look at this. Leather, guys. I told you, this could be leather like this. Because this serves to fake you out. But if you see leather like this, well, that is true buyers. So these are true buyers here. And you might assume that the, the price will go down. Now, if you see price ladder, what you do is, similar to Marubosu, wait for retracement, guys. Because if you see this, you don't wait for retracement. It's too low, right? So you can buy it. You can buy it. It's too low. But if you see this leather, you need to wait for retracement. So there are two types of leathers. See, where the price rejected, guys? 61.8. Now you need to use, what I would suggest is either 50, 61.8 or 78 or 88.6. So from this top part, you you might start looking for entries. But use also other confluence points, like maybe stochastic mm, crosses or if you see this pair. But it's good. So leather type 1 is, this is type 1 leather. So once this closes, you can usually go long. But if you see this, you need to use retracement because price should retrace. It's two because this was a very strong bearish trend and this is leather. So 
the price might correct a bit and then proceed to the upside. Okay? So follow it. Look at this. This is leather, guys. This is type 1 leather here. Look, type 1 leather. And price went up. Right? So these were those three candlestick patterns I was going to show you. Ilya, hi. I can show you slides, but this oh, this webinar is not recorded. I, I, I forgot to record it. Okay, guys. So unfortunately, I, oh, I forgot to uh, press recording button. So I will do it now, guys. So for all of you who, who still have the patience, I will repeat. I will repeat most important things. Uh, oh, uh, Nathan is saying he will send the recording. Thank you, Nathan. Nathan, please do it as fast as possible after the webinar so I can upload it to Admiral Markets YouTube channel. If you, if you have the time just after the webinar, please do it. So, yes, by Dropbox. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Excellent. So I won't continue. I won't repeat everything. I will just show you the slides. Okay. I will just show you the slides. So three soldiers retest. Okay. Three soldiers retest. Then advanced block. I will remove this uh, pen writings, and you can see the clear screen. And price leather. See, so that is important for you today. Because we will be doing this on our live trading sessions. And also, next session that is about breakout trading, we'll use 3SR pattern. Three soldiers retest. Okay. And finally, what we learned, we learned about new candlestick patterns. We learned the structure. And your homework is find all new patterns on the chart. Try to memorize it. Because next to come is price action trade school breakouts and how to trade it. If you have any questions, guys. Please ask me now. And here you should try to spot the patterns as I do. Try to flip your charts to the left. Try to spot it. So this is 3SR bullish. This is 3SR bearish. This is advanced block here. And here also. See? This is price letter type 1 here. And this is, okay, this is not price letter. This is price letter type 2. So, very clear. So, I don't see any question. questions. Questions, I assume that everything is clear. So, guys, uh, that was everything I had for you today. I won't be taking more of your time. I hope that you enjoyed. We will have Fed soon in one hour 20 minutes my advice is not to trade during fed statement guys my uh, i assume that uh, fed will be dovish so pay attention again to this see i i told you this was this would be a range and this is sideways consolidation when you have a, enough screening time you can also spot it by yourself. So it was very easy to tell that the price will go both ways. But after the FOMC minutes, guys, and during FOMC, it can go both ways. Okay, both ways. See? Watch for strong breakouts. But I would really, I would really not dare to trade anything during FOMC. Arne is asking, could we go from 1 to 15 minutes? Well, Arne, 
I usually use one hour and five minute multiple time frames for price action. I'm not talking about AQ pivot points or system. I'm talking about uh, PNT. So on PNT or price uh, action or <laughs> PNT uh, practical naked trading. We go with one hour, five minutes, and four hour, 15 minutes. So that is combination. Because you want to see four uh, times the price, except for four hour, because four hour, it, it would be too close to one hour. So because, because of that, because four hour is really strong time frame for both intraday and intraweek, we go to 15 minutes. Because we want to cherry pick the entry. On one hour, fi uh, 15 minutes is too close it's too close so you you want just it's only for uh, candles right so it's much better to use five minute and one hour and 15 minute and four hour that is how I do it for price uh, for price action trading PNT okay M30 no I don't use M30 I never use M30 in my trading except I use it uh, back uh, like five, six years ago, and there are some uh, systems that use it, but I don't use it on, on, on price action. Because you know why? Because I have noticed very occasionally that M30 is reversal time frame. When there is a, a profit taking, it usually, it's usually spotted on M30. So M30 is like in between time frame. It's not clear. It's, it's the halfway up to one hour, and the best action is always uh, after the close of one hour candle or four hour candle. It's usually the strongest price action because one hour is more important than M30. M30 is profit taking time frame. You will usually see profit taking on M30. So that is why I, I don't use it. It's not good for to give me a cue for uh, an entry or for for uh, exit because it's it's a false time frame I don't believe M30 so sum it all up I don't believe M30 so M5 one hour M15 four hour that's it okay no more questions I don't see anything okay guys so that was it uh, don't trade now, don't make any positions. My advice, there will be time that you will make money and that time might come tomorrow. I will publish new analysis tomorrow. And uh, it will be much clearer after FOMC. But uh, we might see today a drop then buy on dip on Euro dollar or it could be an instant spike if FOMC is dovish. And there will be time to sleep, exactly. And one, yes, one more thing, guys. Uh, I have installed a robot on my Twitter. That robot actually blocks false accounts. But uh, because I don't want to have any bots on my Twitter account, I want to deal with real people. I don't want bots. And recently, I noticed that there was some bots connecting to my account, and they added false followers. So those people are not real, and now I'm in the process of removing it. But because the, I use a robot, uh, you know, it's not perfect. So if any of you, please, guys, if any of you or your friend of, I don't know, sees that I have blocked you or your friend on my Twitter account, Please send me an email, please, and I will unblock you. Because it's not me who is blocking false accounts now. It's my Twitter robot, and I want to remove all those false accounts. But I have noticed that it also removes some of people who actually are real and follow me and come to my webinars. Because, I know, maybe they're not active or they're not using Twitter and the program things uh, it's it's false account. So please, if you if you ever notice that I block you, just send me an email, and I will be sure to unblock you. It's it's not my fault. Thank you for understanding. So everything is clear now. And Ilya, thanks for mentioning. Yes, no worries. 
I, I almost forgot. Nathan, please send me the recording. I will, I, I will upload it now. And uh, of course, guys, expect new analysis tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Max is saying cool stuff. Uh, Ilya, Twitter only to follow you. Yes, Ilya, please, if, I, if my Twitter blocked you, just send me an email. I will unblock you. I, I, I hope that it won't happen. Doug, you're welcome. Bob, Ari, guys, uh, everything is fine, but please listen to me. Don't trade now. I know that you're excited. Fred, I was excited too seven, eight years ago, but I don't trade it anymore. Uh, ah, the last question. Ilya, he wants slides. Here, these are the slides, only slides that I can made. So, pin bar. Three soldiers retest, advanced block, price ladder. The most important thing for today. So thank you guys for listening. I will be here with you very soon. Cheers and.